welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. And I am here today to do another pipe review. Like I said in my last video, I gave a shout out to Red Briar. He is a channel that I connected with in a very weird way. Not like that. The way I really got into this pipe hobby is, like I said in the first time, I got, I got the, the initial pipe a while back, blah, 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 bought a bunch of pipes. But a lot of places I was buying pipes was on eBay. And I bought a bunch of estate pipes. I was after one or two and then a lot of 20, and I ended up with a bunch of other ones, which I'm, I'm cleaning up. I'm gonna see what I can do with them. And I found a lot of really good deals. Well, one of the pipes I wanted to get were the Morgan Bones pipes. And so I went on, got the pipe I'm gonna review today. And as I'm on there, I think it's Derek Tant is his name. He's, they're doing a big uh, Nashville pipe community, YouTube pipe community, not just Nashville, anybody that wants to come. Uh, meet up September 30th, I believe it is. And I saw this other guy on there commenting about trying to come up from Georgia uh, named Red Briar. I thought, wait a minute, that's the guy I bought the Morgan Bones pipe from. Let's see if it's him. So I got on eBay messaging and I was like, hey, by chance do you have a, a YouTube channel by the same name? He said, yeah, I do. And I said, well, I'm, I'm the Pipe Squatch. It's a new channel there. I was like, oh, I'll check it out. So then we connected, and then he even gave me a shout out. And by the way, do you have this hat, Red Briar? It's the inside thing we got going. <laughs> Who's got the best uh, firearms related hats? We kind of connected through a, a few different commonalities that we had and started talking back and forth. Really great guy. Check out his channel below. I, I'll put it in the comments. Not in the comments, I'll put it in the description. Why would I put it in the comments? Check out his channel. So, we shall go on to the review. We'll start with, I opened the, the nice little bubble wrap package to go after this Morgan Bones. Now, I'll tell you up front, with Morgan Bones, some of the Morgan Bones pipes, they're, they're not finished, or they're, they're finished, they're carved and everything, but they don't have a varnish or a stain or anything like that with the bones, thus the bones. And some of them are kind of craggy looking. They're look just rough, rustic. So there aren't flaws in this. It's kind of on purpose that they look like this. That's why I like them so much. This is the little Morgan Bones poker. It's got their little crossbones with the rabbit ears. Uh, one day I'll, I'll ask them what that means, what it's all about. It's an awesome little poker. It'll sit well, on flat surface, my hand's bumpy, so I'm kind of having to tilt it, but it's sitting down. I'll show you in the smaller video. So far, my thoughts on it, it is a little bit smaller than I thought it was, but not anything I'm disappointed with. It fits, it's easy to clinch. I have no idea why a little cotton ball just blew out of it. I don't know if you could have seen it in that video. The draw on it's fantastic. The geometry, you'll see it in there, uh, right at the bottom of the bowl, it's good. I'll just go ahead and jump to that video real quick. Let's just jump to the phone video so you can get a close up. All right, so here is the Morgan Bones poker. Like I said, there is the logo. Do not freak out about that part. It's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look rough and rugged. None of these are structural flaws. These are just things that kind of gives it that little edgy, edgy feel to it. You can kind of see the size uh, in my hand. I've got huge hands, so don't think it's itty bitty. Uh, it is a little smaller than uh, a couple of other pokers I have, but I love this thing. Uh, I, I, I really need some pipes that are smaller because some of my pipes, I'm realizing it's an hour to get through that bowl. So this is gonna be perfect for these little quick spokes. Uh, there's the inside, drilled well. Other side, I think this is sandblasted, the way it is. Uh, but just, you know, as you can see, a really, really cool, nice pipe. And I've got some Northwoods there that I've never tried. So I thought, never tried the pipe, never tried the tobacco, let's do them together. So like I just said, I haven't tried Northwoods. I am constantly seeing videos and hearing other people around the bout. Oh, you gotta try Northwoods, gotta try Northwoods. This is not gonna be a Northwoods review. I'll actually do one of that after, but this will probably give me an initial feeling of it. I'm, I'm more gonna try to see how the pipe smokes, 
how it draws. I'm not gonna pack it all the way through because it's a brand new one. I'm gonna break it in just like the rat rays I broke in. So about a third of the way down. Still getting a great draw. Like I said, clenching this thing, it's just sitting right there. I probably shouldn't, shouldn't say sitting with this in my mouth. It probably sounded like something else. I said sitting. I really did. So it's just sitting right here. There's my char light. Let that cool down a little bit. Already. All the different aspects of this thing, I'm, I'm really loving. Before I get this pipe hot though, let's take a look at the inside. Like everybody else says in their videos, twist to the right as you're pulling it off. Twist the same way as you're putting it on. You just don't wanna mess it up. It's got a very tight fit, which is good. That means you're gonna get a good seal. It's drilled well, it's smooth, there's no lumpiness. Yeah, this is nice. Hmm. So I do see something that I'm just curious about. Uh, or maybe it's just the angle. But it seems like maybe one side of the stem is flat and the other one curves down. So I'm wondering, okay, is that the bottom or is that the top? But maybe I've just got old man eyes and uh, I'm not seeing it right. Okay, now that I flip it over, the other side looks flat. Okay, it's the same on both sides. So let's light it up. Guy had the char light going, now we'll uh, light it up and go to town. And we're not going to town, we're gonna sit right here. Not, I'm not gonna, yeah. These first few draws, I'm gonna start doing this with every pipe I have that I'm gonna review. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna barely let air come inwards with a really light sit. Lighter than you're even supposed to do just to see what kind of draw it gets. And that test has passed here. Now I'll draw like I normally do. And it is an excellent pipe. Some of my pipes I get that I know I'm gonna hold. I got this because I wanted it to be a clincher. And it is perfect. It's not as light as my Devil Ants, but it's also not that small. So of course it's gonna be heavier, but it's not it's not weighing on me heavy. The thing I'm most excited about is now two American-made companies that I've reviewed pipes on are excellent. So as I smoke this, this will start to color. The, the bowl, all the briar parts of this are gonna start to color a little bit, and that's gonna be, I can't wait to see what that does. The moonshine pipe I have, it's starting to get a little darker. Uh, this has a little smoother finish, so I think it might get a little different kind of color, coloring. But as far as a smoking pipe, man, we're good to go. I like it. We'll see how it does as it breaks in, but just a really enjoyable smoke. And it's really not something that you have to clench. I feel totally comfortable taking it in and out of my mouth like this. So I don't know if Red Briar normally sells pipes on, U on, on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if he normally sells pipes on eBay, but go check out his eBay page. I think it's just Red Briar. Red Briar, if you want to comment below and if I, if I screwed that up, tell them what the eBay page is because quick shipping, awesome pipe. It's exactly what he said it was. And as far as Morgan Bones go, great pipe, guys. This is fantastic. Awesome. I love the, the, the rough look. It kind of has this like apocalyptic, you know, I found this after the, the apocalypse. I'll light this thing up again. Thanks for watching this review. I'm going to continue to enjoy this pipe. It's a really nice pipe. I like it a lot. Remember, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life. See you guys.